wacha tuseme tu hivi. Hakuna vile unaweza compare Kenya na US. Ni kama usiku na mchana. Yes, kama vipi watu wa kwangu, I hope mkopoa weekend na wapeleka vizuri. Karibuni tena hapa Tony Vlogging na kama siku zote nitakwambia hapa ni mahali ambapo tunaelimishana, ni mahali ambapo tunachanuana ili tujue jinsi tunaweza grow kama vijana ama mtu yeyote yule ambaye ana watch Tony Vlogging. Na kama siku zote nitakwambia chochote chawezekana na kuna situation ambao ni permanent kwa life kama utatia bidii. Kuna jina moja huwa napenda kulitumia sana. Huwa napenda kulitumia sana kujituma. Lazima ujitume kila siku ndio uweze kusucceed. Na kama siku zote nitakukumbusha kwamba si kila mtu atapata opportunity ya kukuja hapa US. Na hivyo kama utapata opportunity ya kuja hapa US haimaanishi kwamba uweze make it kwa life. So niko hapa kwa ajili tuweze kuelimishana, tuweze kuchanuana vile tunaweza make it kwa life pale popote pale ambapo ulipo wewe. Na kwa wale ambao watapata opportunity ya kukuja hapa Marekani nitakukumbusha ya kwamba hapa Marekani si pahali pa watu wa vivu. Si pahali pa watu wa zembe. Mazi kama wewe ni ule msi wa kuchuzi ile kazi unataka basi hapa life itakuwa noma noma tena kwako. Lakini kama wewe ni msi wa kujituma basi this is a place to be. Ukikuja hapa like you have uko na every reason ya kusucceed hapa kama unasikia kama utajituma kwa kile ambacho unakifanya kwa naifi yako hapa hapa lazima ukuje ujipange ujue itakuwaje ujipange ujue nitakwenda shule ujipange ujue nitachapa hii job for this for this particular time alafu ujue itakuwaje unaona so unataka nikuchanue ndio ukikuja hapa marekani unajua pale ambapo unaweza anzia life so kuna kazi moja tu hapa ambao ni rahisi sana kuipata So ukikuja hapa US au fai kutabika kutafuta kazi. Unaona? Bali kuna wasio wakikuja hapa kama una information basi ina take time sana kupata kazi. But so unataka nikwambie kazi, hii kazi ambayo unaweza ipata kwa urahisi sana ukikuja hapa Marekani na inalipa pesa mzuri sana. Inalipa pesa mzuri sana. But this is what unahitaji ndio uweze kudui job. Unaona? The first thing niliwaambia ukikuja hapa tuseme kama umekuja na green card ni kutafuta social security number. Alafu ukishapata social security number then unatafuta kitu ambao tunaita driver driver's license sababu hapa ni muhimu sana kama una drive ku succeed uta succeed haraka kama kama una drive. Niliwaambia hapa US ku drive ni necessity si luxury. Unaona? So hii ni kazi ukikuja hapa ushapata social security number yako ushapata driver's license then in kazi ina take only two weeks to train ina take only two weeks to kufanya nini ku train so unakuja unaenda shule uh, ya caregiving so kazi yenyewe inaitwa caregiving hii ni kazi yenye unafanya huwa zitazita nursing homes assistant living uh, memory care so in other ones ama kuna zingine za watoto But in other ones una deal na watu ambao wamezeeka. Huku watu wakizeeka wanapelekwa nursing homes, wanapelekwa memory care. Unajua sengine inafika mahali mtu amebeat, akili imeenda, akifika kitu kama 70 years, amepelekwa nursing homes. Membi wengine wanajiweza wengine wenye wanajiweza huwa wanapelekwa kwa facilities ambazo tunaziita assistant living. So generally huku most people wakizeeka huko ndio wanapelekwa. Na sababu ya life vile huko huko people are very busy you know maisha inasukuma watu kutoa next and hata kutekia uja wazazi wao inakuwa noma so wanawapeleka kwa hizi nursing home facilities na ni mingi sana ni mingi sana actually wana sema kama kuna field iko na do hii America ni field ya health care nakuja kueleza siku nyingine vile vile unaweza tumia actually hiyo um, field ya health care kukuwa kama nursing ndio uweze kupata makaratasi kwa wale ambao membi wanakuja hapa kama student But hii ni kazi ya caregiving ama nursing and assistance hivyo hivyo ndio watu tunaita ama nursing aid so hii ni kazi ambayo una unaenda shule for two weeks wanakufundisha bila unashughulikia wazae kuwaosha you know uh, kuwaosha kuwavalisha nguo kuwapatia chakula hiyo ndio kazi unafanya pale ni kazi ngumu ni kazi ngumu lakini si kazi una unaiplan kuifanya kwa muda mrefu so unakuja hapo unasema nafanyii kazi for two years nafanyii kazi for four years and then nitakuwa membe nishaenda shule and then nikimaliza ndio niweze kupata job nyingine ama nitafanyii kazi for this particular time and then nikimaliza then niweze niweze kufanya niweze kufanya biashara unaona ni kuwe na kabizina hivi alafu maisha maisha ikuwe tu vile unaona so ni kazi unaenda shule tu for two weeks only two weeks 
uh, I think mostly school fees ya hiyo 2 weeks inakuwa kitu kama 500 dollars ama 600 iko in between hapo ikienda sana 700 so so ukishalipa ile 700 or 500 or 600 depending na shule so ukishado ile ile course and then unapata kazi immediately yani ni kazi yenye au au tamak like hata yani unamaliza tu shule leo then kesho yake uko works so unajua ukikuja okay, hapa America unataka at least job wenye utapata haraka ndio kuna unasukuma life you know ndio uweze kusukuma life vizuri ndio uweze kuanza life poa unaona so hii ni kazi yenye ukimaliza tu shule unapata unapata job kesho yake yani hata hata ni kazi yenye nasema like uki, ukitoka tu job moja tu leo alafu unaenda tu job nyingine place nyingine yani ni kazi yenye unaweza pata in the shift in the time time yote tu unataka na hii kazi inalipa vizuri kitambo hiku kuwa inalipa poa but size size inalipa fit sana inalipa fit sana so unapata kuna places watalipa 20 dollars kuna places watalipa even more, more than that na tuombe siku nyingine hata ukipata ile nursing aid unaweza pata kitu fulani wana unaweza fanya kitu fulani wanaita CMA so CMA iko juu ya CNA kidogo so inakupunguzia ile kazi unafanya sababu ukishafanya CMA huyo kazi yako ni kupitisha madawa unaona kazi yako ni kupitisha nini kupitisha madawa so una unafanya tu CNA for 6 months and then ukishamaliza ile 6 months then unaweza end of upate upate CMA so na job as i said kuna places inalipa i mean kutoka 16 dollars kwenda kwenda juu tu kuna make 20 dollars an hour 20 dollars an hour ukichapa hii job for 16 hours you know for 16 hours hiyo ni kama 320 dollars 320 dollars hiyo ni kama ni kama 32000 32 between 32 to 35000 Kenyan shillings siku moja siku moja tu hivyo but one thing wakati tunakuja hapa America like lazima lazima ukue mtu kujituma unaona wakati unaanza life hapo ukue mtu kujituma ndio at least unajua nita do job for this particular time nifanye job for this a number of hours and then nita save if i pesa fulani hapa nitajenga nitajenga place fulani ndio nakuambia siku kila siku ukipata msi amekuja hapa then ana shika maplot yuko Kenya ana anajenga ana, ana maplot ma, ma estate nini lazima huko lazima lazima ukuwe anajituma vizuri kuna wale wasao wanakuja wanasukuma wanajituma kwa trucking but hii ni kazi ambayo inalipa inalipa vizuri tena sana na ni rahisi sana kupata ni rahisi sana kupata hata hata nyinyi wa student wenye wenye mnataka kuja hapa kama wa student ndio vile unaweza fanya hiyo job pia kuna vile unaweza idu but lazima ukuwe na plan unaona so hii ni kazi ambayo unapata kwa rahisi sana na inalipa over 30 plus thousand Kenyan shillings so hiyo inamaanisha unalipoa kwa siku unalipa kitu kama 300 dollars plus but lazima ujitume lazima ujikaze America si ya kila mtu na kama siku zote nitakukumbusha kwamba tuko hapa kwa ajili ya kuelimishana tuko hapa kwa ajili ya kuchanuana na nitakwambia siku zote chochote chawezekana na kuna situation ambayo ni permanent kwa life kama utatia bidii kama utajikaza kama utajituma kila siku na nikukumbusha kwamba kama hii ni mara yako ya kwanza kufika hapa Tony Blogging please make sure that ume subscribe ume like the video ume share na marafiki zako na kama siku zote waambie kuna kijana fulani wa hapa waucha kijana wa mtaa kijana wa kule village Mungu kambariki akapata opportunity ya kukuja hapa Marekani na akaamua asikae na hiyo information peke yake afungue ka channel hivi ndio sisi wote ndio tuweze kusaidiana na information tuone vile we can grow together na nitakwambia kwamba hapa lazima ujitume lazima nitarudie hiyo kila kila siku ndio uweze kushika na pahali popote ulipo kazi yote unaofanya kila siku lazima lazima ujitume kama unataka kusucceed kwa hii life so job ya nursing head care giving inalipa 20 dollars plus actually siku hizi ukifanya na agency wanakulipa even more than that so unapata kuna places zingine actually wana make unapata msiana do job within one day ana make 500 dollars unaona ana make 500 dollars hiyo ni kama 50k i mean wacha tuseme tu hivi hakuna vile unaweza compare Kenya na US ni kama usiku na mchana. Kwa wale watu wako na pesa Kenya yes wako fit. But in terms of kufanya kazi, kibiashara, i place ni noma. Opportunities yes ziko ziko Africa but zinataka mtu wako na pesa. Unaona? Zinataka mtu wako na pesa. Ndio huwa na encourage wasi wamenye wamekuja hapa, umekuja hapa ukipata do ni vizuri kukumbuka nyumbani. Invest pale nyumbani, fungua biashara hivi ndio at least na wewe uajiri watu wili watatu hivi and then hivyo ndio tuna group kwa pamoja. So job ya nursing hand rahisi sana kupata shule for two weeks for training alafu unaanza unaanza kuchapa kazi so nipo tuko sasa nitaona in the next video make sure you subscribe like the video share na marafiki zako bye bye nitaona 
in the next video.